All right, Brian Farrell joins us now with a look at the situation in North Carolina. Yeah, and David, health officials in North Carolina said there were more than 1,900 new cases today since the state started tracking coronavirus. There have been now more than 89,000 cases. And look at that orange bar right there. Again, that was from Saturday. Almost 2,500 new cases reported that day. So Governor Roy Cooper talked about the situation today. The state will stay in phase two for at least three more weeks because of it. Cooper said schools will have in-person and remote learning in the fall. There will be a number of changes, though, at schools themselves. People will have to wear face masks. They'll follow social distancing guidelines. There also will be daily temperature checks. Schools are strongly recommended to implement other safety precautions, such as one-way hallways and entrances, keeping students in small groups that stay together as much as possible, eating lunch in the classroom if the cafeteria won't allow for social distancing, and suspending activities that bring large groups together like assemblies. We know schools will look a lot different this year. They have to in order to be safe and effective. And school districts have to have remote learning options for families that aren't comfortable with children going back to school buildings. If cases keep spiking, Cooper said the state will have to move to all remote learning like it did in the spring. North Carolina hit a new record for hospitalizations. More than 1,100 now have been reported. That means that more than 1,100 patients are in hospitals being taken care of. 73% of beds are in use. ICUs are at 78% occupancy. Now, the state also had its largest day-to-day -day increase when it comes to the number of deaths reported. 42 more people have died from COVID-19. That is the highest number deaths since May 25th.